Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I will be talking to you guys through my current makeup routine. This is like has been my go-to makeup routine that I have been wearing every day and these are some of my current favorite products. So I thought I should sit down and do my makeup with you guys. Um, on an everyday basis, I don't usually wear primer. I like to uh, moisturize my skin really well and that kind of does the job. And for foundation, I have been loving the makeup forever hd foundation and the reason being the shade match is so accurate at the moment i wear the shade y um, 415 yes that's my shade i think it is almond i could be wrong um, and it is an expensive foundation i do i do know that but i really love the finish of it like I've been looking for something that looks good on camera yet it looks like it's barely there on my skin and that's what this foundation does for me I also um, was loving like the Too Faced Born This Way foundation it, it has an amazing coverage it is also lightweight but not as lightweight as this like this is just so nice it looks so good on camera it is an HD foundation that sits so light on your skin I also used to really like uh, wearing the Clinique Even Better foundation. I love the Even Better foundation range, both Even Better Glow and Even Better. Uh, I would really recommend the Even Better Glow for anyone with uh, dry skin. It will give you that beautiful luminous looking skin. And uh, that's it for the foundation. I've been keeping it extremely light. Uh, nothing too much. And look how it just looks like skin. And just covers up uh, the little bit of redness that I have uh, so that's it for the foundation I just used two pumps one pump on each side next for concealer I have been loving the LA girl pro HD concealer again um, because it is exactly the color of my skin I am wearing the shade pure beige so what I like to do again is just take a little bit of the product onto the back of my hand and then take my YBP sponge and just apply it underneath my eyes. So because this is so close to my natural skin color, so it just conceals without looking like I have applied anything underneath my eyes and again the formula of these concealers are so nice i use the maybelline fit me in honey interchangeably with this sometimes i do like using the maybelline fit me concealer and sometimes i like to use this this is almost getting over as you can see uh, the tube is all squished up i also like to take the concealer a little bit around my nose i get a lot of redness in there and if I do have any sort of breakout that needs added coverage, I just go over it using the concealer. Okay, so for powder, I have been using the K-Beauty one and this is the translucent shade. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that onto my sponge again and just set wherever I have applied the concealer. And I just get done with this makeup so quickly it's so easy next I'm gonna contour and for that I'm using the back sculpt and shine contour palette I have been really loving this especially uh, this shade over here so I'm just gonna take that onto an angled brush this is from Morphe the brush and I'm just going to apply it right here it's such a soft buttery powder and the shade is also so perfect for my skin tone. I also like to take a little bit onto my eyelid just on the crease. For blush, I'm going to use this one from Makeup Revolution. Uh, this is their Blusher Reloaded in Pop My Cherry and it looks really bright. 
but it's not that loud uh, depends on how much you take onto the brush I don't load up my brush too much with it but I think it, this color it pairs so nicely with the lipstick that I'm about to wear then moving on to highlighter I'm going to wear this one from Nykaa I love the Stroven Glow Liquid Highlighter in the shade Glazed Bronze so I just like to take it onto the back of my hand like so use my sponge to pick up the highlighter and just apply it right here and I've been loving liquid highlighters lately because it gives you such a natural looking glow if you want you can top this up with a powder highlighter and it's really going to pop out next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I make sure to never skip this step this really opens up my eyes and makes my lashes look so fluttery for mascara, I'm going to use one of my favorites at the moment. This is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I love the wand. And I prefer waterproof mascaras. So I know a lot of people don't like that, but I really, really love how uh, long-lasting waterproof mascaras are. And you can use any oil cleanser to kind of remove it. I like to use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and that kind of get rid gets rid of everything but I just love the way my lashes look like look at that you can see the difference just one coat gives you so much volume this is one of the best drugstore mascaras and I also like to just take whatever is left to comb up my eyebrow and I don't really apply these days I haven't been applying a lot of mascara on my lower lash line just a little bit on the outer side like so just to open up my eyes a little bit more and lastly for lipstick I have been loving this one from sugar this is their it's about time vivid lipstick in better call salmon Sometimes I top this lipstick up with a little bit of gloss. Uh, this is the Bobbi Brown Liquid uh, Crushed Lip in the shade Juicy Date. And I just apply that a little bit on the center. And that's it. That has been my go-to look for like almost a month now and I have been loving wearing my makeup like this it is very natural looking and it just like really brings forward my features um, I love the way this mascara makes my lashes look and I really love the combination or have been loving the combination of these two lipsticks so that's it for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my quick everyday sort of makeup look and I hope you found something that would work well for you as well uh, so that's it please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye